and alternatives to traditional college that you should look into. So we've got one here for you. Openculture.com, um, which likes to give access to different cultural things. Actually, they have a huge list of free online movies, which if you're more interested in that, feel free. But they've compiled a list of 500 free courses online that you have access to from really high class, high profile universities. Um, just to give you an idea, they've got Stanford, Yale, MIT, Oxford, Harvard, UC Berkeley, some of the biggest colleges in the country and in the world. And they have these courses available on almost every subject. Like they list 55 courses in philosophy, they've got computer science, physics, pretty much everything. And from big names, like you can get classes by Richard Dawkins, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm actually probably going to look this up later. Um, just huge names from universities all over the country. Richard Feynman, that's a pretty big name. And so I think that this is incredibly exciting that you could conceivably, although you wouldn't have a degree at the end of it, you could take these courses and you could learn a lot. That's what I did seen, in college you, for money. No, I took a bunch of classes that... For money? No, like I took a bunch of classes that had nothing to do with my major. Like mm -hmm. I'm halfway to a minor in like three subjects. Yeah, but, but you did it out of just personal curiosity? I did it for, yeah, I wanted to go learn. That's awesome. I, the reason I put this on the rundown today is both to let you know that it's there, that you can go to openculture.com and you can find these lists of courses. And also, there are things like this available on iTunes that you can download like podcasts of these. Um, but it kind of depresses me because as I was seeing this, I thought, man, Justice, what's the right thing to do? That sounds interesting. iPhone application development in iOS 5. That's actually I really interesting. I want to take physics I for presidents. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't Physics know for future pres. Oh, okay, teaching them the basics of science so that they'll know how to govern. But the thing is, like, I work pretty long hours. You do too. Like, we're hard workers. And when we get home, the temptation to just like lay down and watch Married with Children or something for me is really you don't like Married with Children. That's all you do is watch Married with Children. It's not all I do. I do yes. other things too. Who watches Married with Children? How Ricky, you seem like the perfect audience for Married with Children. How could you not like it? I don't know. I don't. I don't. How, how do I seem like? How am I the perfect audience for Married with Children? Because he likes stupid slapstick sort of fun. Like that. That seems like. No, no, no. I'm not saying That's you're not stupid. That's not very I'm polite. Like he really likes Ted, right? What are you trying to say, Ariel? I like the same stuff. Look, if you have taken any of these courses just for your own enlightenment, not you know for college, I'd like to know: Was it beneficial to you? Was it worth the time? Could it actually stand in for other forms of entertainment? Because some of these might actually be kind of fun. I think that that would be that well, would be great. Sure. I mean, like if you read in your spare time. I used to. I do. You then know, I, got I could just do this instead. Exactly. I, I think that that would be great, and I, I would really like to hear from people who have done that, because uh, I think that that would be pretty inspirational.